what do you think is most important to get good hair transplant results is it the method or is it the skill of surgeon or is it the number of grafts probably your answer would be either of these or maybe all of these but here you are forgetting the most important player whether you go to a clinic which does uh, your hair transplant grade 7 from front to back in just maybe uh, $2000 maybe just $1000 or you go to a clinic which will charge you maybe 10000 15000 or $30000 but if you don't know about this common denominator you are really going to pay a heavy price and you are definitely bound to get some irreparable damage on your body or on on your health so watch this video till end this video is going to break a lot of myths and it will bring a lot of clarity we have used some pictures in this video some uh, videos taken from youtube just to clarify and put my point of view across the video is not intended to uh, to demean someone it is just to enlighten uh, people who are looking for effective lasting hair transplant solutions if you haven't already subscribed the channel do subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon uh, this is important so let's start so i'm starting with this result the the one which you are seeing right now a patient where there is diffuse thinning throughout including the crown middle portion the frontal portion the, there is slight recession of hairline not much there are miniaturized hair which are present in this area and uh, these miniaturized hair will transform into something with help of something you will realize later now Uh, even in apparently completely bald area at the hairline zone you have those miniaturized hair if you uh, see it through a dermatoscope now look at the donor of this patient it's not really great it is quite thin now anyone would say probably this guy will will, will be needing 4000 5000 8000 maybe 10000 grafts you must have seen these numbers ranging from 1800 or 1500 to that much and still getting this grade 7 completely covered so in this patient as we can see they did 1800 grafts by fue method you can see the donor donor is not looking really great it is actually scaring me but then some miracle happened to the donor also we will see what miracle now look at one month result already there is a lot of growth <laughs> in the non transplanted zone where no transplant has been done and what a miracle look at the six months result everything covered nicely wow beautiful no not a single graft has been placed 1800 in the front that's it now what happened there i tried to you know see the video entire video nowhere it was mentioned that medicine has been given nowhere they acknowledge that finasteride has been taken but these results you can yourself i mean just use your logical brain it is not rocket science i'll show you some comparison pictures now see this patient where uh, the case is more or less similar i would say rather little more problematic more thinning we started 1 mg finasteride and it was alternate days look at the 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 thickness of these hair look at this this is wonderful Tran it looks like a transplant this density cannot be achieved through anything else if you comb it comb cannot separate the hair of finasteride from transplanted hair if you if you wash it you will see shampooing videos of transplant results and it looks very natural but water cannot separate finasteride hair from transplanted hair 
you will see people showing in broad daylight uh, combing and everything comb or the daylight cannot separate finasteride hair from transplanted hair it is like an oral topic you know that powder fiber which people spray and it looks great all bald areas are covered now finasteride is an oral topic which you eat and it grows hair and it grows hair naturally you will get tricked if you don't understand this concept i am showing you another case here we just saw 1800 grafts and big areas now we are seeing the second case again some some clinics case where uh, 4000 grafts were placed front and back combined front we can see there are some uh, i mean it has been placed little close and back they are dispersed now even 400 grafts can be dispersed at the back and it can be told you told to you that we have covered grade 7 now the magic is about to happen again this technique was fue and it is really very difficult to take out 4000 or big numbers by fue alone but it happened now look at the results wonderful results all covered water density amazing transformation and what not read the comments which are written oh my goodness never seen this never seen that brother your life has changed or that you are god of transplant and all that but this is really scary and you will understand when i when you watch this complete video no one is acknowledging that he was given finasteride but now looking at the finasteride results you know what the medicine can do there are 70000 hair which are present in these areas empty areas which obviously cannot be covered with transplant uh, what is the trick trick is the medicine and the the most important part is the donor there is a lot of miniaturization which goes in the donor also which improves with medicine and the thickness of existing hair which were visible to naked eyes but which were very thin that also improves so let's go to another case and talk about lower grade of baldness grade 2 grade 3 in these cases also you will see marketing being done ultra high ultra density hair transplant amazing hair transplant and even the ugliest of hair lines can be made look great with those softer hair which finasteride can grow in the hairline zone and this is the testimony you can see these results where uh, finasteride actually grew so many hair softer hair especially so the area coverage density hair, softer hairline aesthetic and the situation of donor these are the four things which you obviously would consider when going for a transplant so you don't get to know the real picture of the transplant and you are gone now you have seen three types of results where just 1800 grafts were placed in the front portion and the entire thing is covered and the uh, another one where these grafts were diffusely placed telling the numbers may be 4000 5000 6000 10000 it doesn't matter at all so what is the common denominator what what are the common things which you find here number 1 FUE technique in all these patients only FUE technique was uh, used which is obviously an incomplete uh, technique incomplete surgery because you cannot make full use of donor i have made tons of videos on that go through the links and watch second in all these cases finasteride was given somewhere they are admitting somewhere they are not admitting maybe some of these patients finasteride wasn't given but higher congener of finasteride was given which is called dutasteride be aware of that also and obviously in these results high grade grade 1 2 3 4 5 7 doesn't matter really doesn't matter but the common denominator again is same you will see let's look at the hairline maybe the cheapest hairline is looking ugly unnatural you can see here maybe the mid hairline is looking slightly better but still looking ugly maybe the third hairline Uh, where you are spending maybe ten thousand or more uh, USD is looking better. If you see these hairlines without the medicine, you will be shocked, 
and you will never go to that clinic even if uh, Bill Gates get a transplant done there. You understand this? I have shown in many of my videos how when we give medicine. So it's just a small example to clarify it and stay tuned. We'll come with a version of Satya Ki Adalat where we will be discussing when Satya gives this medicine. Just to clarify a little, this patient we did surgery 4000 grafts up till 10 months finasteride wasn't given. There was thinning, the transplanted hair were thinning. Uh, I mean, they were not growing to their full potential and the existing hair were thinning significantly. We added 1.5 mg finasteride per week, not day, per week. And, and in three months, you see the whole scenario has changed and everything is covered. When a small dose can do this, why do you need to take high doses? If you plan your uh, journey right, then you will obviously get the results right. Now coming to the hairline, which actually is a real hairline of transplant. This needs skills. Let's discuss my case. I did my transplant two years back. My team did it for myself and uh, uh, the recession was there. I, I was 44 at that point of time and uh, it, it was a wonderful transplant. Now the team or the surgeon had to take care of three things. One, merging with the existing hair. Two, uh, the density, what were what is being given in the hairline and three, the softer look of hairline. And if the team really has skill and has worked without cheating of finasteride, then uh, they'll be able to deliver these kind of results. So all these hairlines which you are seeing, which we have created at Satya, most of these hairlines, what I'm showing you here, these are the hairlines without finasteride. And there is hell lot of a difference. If they start taking finasteride, you cannot even imagine what will happen. And secondly, uh, even if we give finasteride, we give at very small doses. And I'll tell you, see how it can save you. Very important. Now see this case. He had done a transplant earlier in Turkey. This guy was from, uh, from a country near Greece. You know, the transplant wasn't really good. He was looking for options and uh, somehow came across one of Satya's video and found it interesting and different. Consulted me, I, I gave him 2 mg per week finasteride. Within three months, the whole scenario changed. He doesn't need a transplant in the crown, which was empty. He doesn't need uh, a, a transplant to fix the bad hairline because th those areas are also covered. Uh, he was about to make that decision where he was going to that referred clinic and he was getting going to get it done. It saved so much of money, time and donor for him. So that is why proper research is important. What I'm telling you is not rocket science. It's pretty simple, provided you pay attention to it and you are ready to listen. This content may shatter someone's dreams, but the reason why I'm making this is not to do that. This is to bridge the gap between expectations and reality. Before I conclude, I will give you a pro tip. So if you are going to a clinic which you which is very advertised and you think, OK, this is amazing. This is next level and all that stuff. Always remember, if you reduce, if you subtract finasteride result from that, probably you won't even think of getting a transplant there, even in your wildest of the dreams or else. You can save your money by starting the medicine itself before getting a transplant as this patient did. He was suggested uh, around 3500 grafts for this, a, these areas and, uh, and he was also suggested 1 mg finasteride daily. <laughs> but he was smart enough, he started the medicine 1 mg finasteride, four and a half months everything is covered. This portion, front, back, middle, even the donor has improved so much. So, so he saved um, that much of money. But yes, his health was put at stake. He had issues with the medicine. And obviously, when you stop these, all these hair are going to fall badly. And the rebound is going to be very, very severe. Uh, even more severe than the previous pre-existing hair loss. So hair restoration is a journey. It is not a one shot story. Even if you get it right apparently once, you might have been screwed for life. 
okay so you have to plan it right to get it right and and if you want to plan this journey with us the numbers are given in description i would advise you to visit www.satyahairsolutions.com where you will get to know a lot lot about these concepts what i am telling you here and again this is not rocket science this is very simple but it can save you money donor health and a lot i would request you to share this content with others if you haven't already subscribed the channel do subscribe it if you have faced these issues problems do write in comment section and together only if we raise the level of awareness we have any chance to survive survive this brutal industrialization of hair transplant and i really it needs efforts when i talk so much about this it it takes efforts and you don't know what's happening behind the scene what all uh, difficulties we go through while sharing even these content with you but again it that's life i am here for you and thank you for watching lots of love thank you